guys, welcome back to Ant Tips, and today I will be doing the review of the Evo VR headset from Walmart. So, I bought this headset for $15. Um, I've had it for about, say, four months now, and it's in decent condition. So, there are some glue stains and tape stains from where I had to glue and tape it back into place because it cracked because the whole thing is made out of plastic which is what you expect for a $15 headset um the lenses are also it's hard to see but they're they're pretty scratched mostly everywhere where there's plastic it's scratched um but Overall, it's a pretty good headset. I would recommend buying it for you guys, or I would recommend to you guys to buy it. Uh, like I said, Walmart, $15. At the time that I bought it, it might have been cheaper or more expensive now. Um, it came with the Bluetooth remote that I do not have with me right now, but it's like any other Bluetooth remote that comes with the Chinese VR headsets. Um, now Evo VR does have its own app, and the app is okay, it's a game where you're flying a spaceship, but the whole game is like, uh, the game has like very low graphics, and it doesn't look too well, even on HD screens, the game is probably 240p, and the graphics look really bad, but it's a pretty fun game. To just try it out the headset does work with uh, VR videos on YouTube it does work with the 360 videos all that it does not work with Google Cardboard because as you could probably tell already there is no button for that so you can't really interact with Google Cardboard on this so it will not work for that um, if you are wondering these switches up here they just move the, the lenses in and out and then left and right and there's a independent one for both of them uh, it did come with the head strap which was pretty nice it's it's this is not leather it's like a plastic leather it's like the leather you get on those flip phone cases or not flip phone but flip cover cases so it's it looks nice, but it doesn't feel too well. Uh, the padding on here is not the softest. It's... Well, it's soft, but it's... It's a little too soft. And it doesn't really help with support. It just... It's just kind of there. Um, to put your phone in the VR, you have a tray that slides out. And then it has a stretchy thing. Or not a stretchy thing, but it has this slider, which mine is broken. You can see it lifts up, which is just a sign of the quality. But it has a slider, and you put your phone in, and then this goes up, and it has a spring, so it stays in place. Uh, there are two holes in the back here are for the augmented reality because this piece right here this black piece you see how it's there's a line going around it this piece comes off uh, I can't take it off now because the clip on it broke so I had to glue it back into place so it stopped falling off um, but yeah so it would work with augmented reality if it's still fixed which won't last very long um, overall it's a pretty good headset uh, it's great for the price. It's a great place to start if you're just now joining in the VR world. Uh, I would not recommend it to uh, people who have already had like headsets like the Gear VR or even Google Cardboard because at least that has a button on it. So if you really are tr trying to just, I don't know, dip your feet in the waters of the VR world then this is a good place to start uh, like I said $15 from Walmart um, and it did 
like I said, it did come with the Bluetooth remote, but it only works with the the app that you installed. And for iOS, it doesn't it does not work too well. It it plays and pauses music, and that's basically it. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. This has been the review of the Evo VR headset. I'm sorry I couldn't show you a demonstration because. You can't really demonstrate a VR headset because the cameras won't be able to pick that up or anything, but it's just like any other VR headset, the same lenses as them, uh, it's just each VR headset has its own build. So uh, this VR headset actually, on a side note, is pretty, it's pretty heavy because it's just plastic, but it, it's a lot of plastic. So, when I put it on my head, I start to notice that when I put my phone in there, it already weighs a lot. And that's why I have to tighten up the head strap a lot, so that way it's really staying on my face. Because if you loosen it up too much, this will just, like, fall right off if you just look over. If you even, like, if you have it on and you just look over, it'll just start sliding off slowly. So I had to tighten it up a lot, and, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, comment. See you in the next video, and peace out, guys. Dude,